In the previous video, we learned how to use Mock Service Worker for testing our user's component. In this video, let's learn how to handle errors when mocking HTTP requests. If we take a look at the user's component, when the HTTP request fails, we set an error message. Error fetching users. The same is rendered in the JSX. For our test, we need to assert that the error message is present in the DOM. But the question is, how do we ask mock service worker to respond with an error status instead of a success status? Well, we could set status to 500, but that would mean every test written for the user's component will result in an error and we cannot test the other scenarios. So what you need to do instead is add a per test handler which throws an error. Let me walk you through the steps. In the test file, define a new test. The name is renders error. And the second argument is a function. Within the function, we are going to reset the handler we have defined in the main handlers file to now throw an error. For that, we need to get hold of the server from server.ts. Now, within the function, call server.use. As an argument, we specify rest.get and let's import rest from msw. The path remains the same, so copy paste from the user's component. But this time, the function will respond with a status of 500. Request, response, context, return, response, and we pass in context.status of 500. It is important to note this handler applies only to this single test. After resetting the handler, render the user's component. Next, find the error text. Await screen dot find by text and the text is error fetching users. Make sure to add the async keyword. Finally, expect error to be in the document. If we save the file, we see all tests passing. I change the text to error fetching user and our test fails. Our code works as expected even when the mock response contains an error. Now you might have a question. If we were to write a new test, will this handler with error response get carried over? The answer is no as we are resetting the handlers after each test. To summarize, we can reset handlers per test to ensure error responses are handled by your test. We can respond with a status of 500, for example, and assert against the right element present in the DOM. With that, we conclude this section on mocking. We have seen how to mock functions with Jest, how to mock HTTP requests with Mock Service Worker, and how to handle error responses with Mock Service Worker. Now we have barely touched the surface of what MSW is capable of, so please do go through the docs for more information. We have one final section to go through in this series, so let's see what that is in the next video. Thank you for watching please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.